This is the Swarm and Shoot Football Show, Episode 8, with me, Manny Matsakis, the head football coach of the Defiance College Yellow Jackets. On this podcast, we feature Defiance College football and everything that influences our program. Today, my special guest is Brian Mestre, and Brian is our defensive graduate assistant. Hey, uh, how's it going, Brian? It's going good, Coach. It's going good. It's uh, a pleasure to be here. <laughs> we're having a lot of fun, and I'll tell you, this, is, uh, this has been uh, quite a whirlwind for us, but, you know, it's interesting how we met. You know, I got here, uh, it was uh, August 7th, mm-hmm. a year ago in uh, 2018, and... Um, It was one of those deals that uh, the next day we had training camp Mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of players were there to help me unpack the bags. And, you know, so I met a lot of the guys at at the house and, um, you know, it, it, as I looked at this deal for you specifically, because you were a senior last year. Yes, sir. And um, what uh, what was interesting about Brian is I got an email from you in the summer, like later. It had been July after I'd been hired into July saying, hey, I'm going to play and uh, I'm going to work on my MBA. Because right, he's, he's done, graduated, but he started his graduate program to get his master's in business administration here. And uh, he, w- he still wanted to play football. So um, I knew who you were through an email. You know, I hadn't really seen anybody on film to get a, any clue on that deal. But more important than anything else is I knew you're the kind of guy you are. And, uh, you know, a guy that cares about Defiance College, that uh, cares about the program, and um, really takes pride in what he does. And so you, after the season, um, we needed a graduate assistant. You're mm-hmm. already in grad school. Yeah. So the opportunity was there uh, to help us with the defensive line. And uh, you came in, helped us recruit the off season, And uh, we brought in one heck of a class. And uh, you were a big oh, yeah. part of that as well. So, you know, and then you, as you joined our staff, you were, you know, going to grad school and there's always that deal like, hey, I just played with all these guys, yeah, yeah. you know, so th- there's certainly a, a difficulty there in, in separating um, and, and, you know, and being a coach as opposed to a player because there's right. things you have to mm-hmm. do differently, you know, and we'll get into that. And then um, at the and then I always thought it was interesting. Everybody called you Cuba. Yes, right? sir. <laughs> OK. And uh, you're from Miami, Florida. And uh, you've been in this program all all the way along, and uh, I can guess the Cuba bit. But uh, mm-hmm. wh- wh- how did you get the name? So actually, that name came about when I first moved in my freshman year, okay. and we were all hanging out in the freshman dorms over at McReynolds. Back then, there used to be a quad they they used to call it, where it housed four guys, and we'd all go in there and hang out. And then they all started asking, we all started asking each other, hey, what's your name? What do you, position do you play? You know, just like any mm-hmm. typical freshman, incoming freshman or whatnot. And I'd always say, well, my name's Brian, okay? And I'm from Miami, Florida, played defensive end, whatever. But everyone used to always be like, you don't look like a Brian. <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm Cuban. They are like, oh, yeah, we're calling you Cuba. And oh, then ever okay. since then, it just stuck. It I'll, stuck. Everyone here calls me Cuba. The I mean, whole campus. Yeah. It's Cuba. Everybody, uh, everybody. Yeah, no question. Yeah, okay. So how did you get to Northwest? How did you get to Defiance College from Miami, Florida? <laughs> so, let's see. My This is going to be funny because my senior year is the only year I ended up playing football in high school. And so I didn't think anything of it at first. I was just like, I'm just going to play football to be with my buddies because they all played football all sure. the way through middle school to high school. And I said, you know what? Let's see where this takes me. Mm-hmm. So season ends, coaches out sending film to other coaches and colleges and whatnot. I ended up going into a recruiting fair where I seen Defiance College, Mount Union, Methodist, a bunch of schools. Talked to them, whatever. Then I ended up talking to Adrian College and Defiance College. Those ended up t- – being my last two choices oh okay yeah just up the road that's crazy yeah Yeah. okay and it came down to really the financial aid package which happens to a lot of guys um defiance ended up being cheaper and what's funny is i never took a visit up here i came up here blindfolded oh my did you bring a coat for the winter oh no i had to go to goodwill (laughs) (laughs) i had to go to goodwill i hear you but i came blindfolded i said you know what i want to do something different i'm tired of the city i said i need something new yeah. And man, did I guess something new. Yes, you did. And, y- you know, it- it's interesting because you have a uh, 
a very unique experience for anybody that's been in this particular program mm -hmm. because you know i'm the fourth head coach you played for yes sir right and now you're on the other side of the fence oh, yeah. coaching with us mm -hmm. you know but um let's get, and and understand i'm this is not condescending to anybody that was here before mm -hmm. but but more importantly um you're here and what have you noticed in your mind as a player the biggest differences in the program as it is now as opposed to the the first three years mm -hmm. that you were here as a player okay as a whole organization in the years prior excuse me before where you have prior biggest thing was there was a lot of lack of organization or lack of communication per se from okay. coaches to players players to coaches that was one thing two is like just the vibe it's just different like that's the whole reason why i decided you know i want to come coach for coach matsakis and help out the guys that i just played with yeah help them understand hey he knows what he's doing like you guys need to get on board and actually hop on this train and so we can go where we need to go that was the biggest thing hmm. so communication yeah. is, is, is oh, what yeah. you feel has improved oh yeah at this point well good i mean i mean that gives you some insight and certainly players out there i mean you want to be in a program that you feel uh you have a voice you can communicate mm -hmm. certainly talk to the assistant coaches and uh you know get get it up the chain of command to the yeah. right people and uh and uh, it's not like you're going to what it's not like the players run the program right, it's no. uh, you know there's a way there's a right way yeah. to do it and we all get on board together to do it because ultimately um you know we understand that uh we're in this together and we're representing a you know a great college and and a wonderful community as well oh yeah uh, you know so when um now that you're a football coach and um what is the biggest part of the transition for you to be big, a foot and being mm, a coach. Yeah, what is the difference? Biggest transition, well, one, I have to set in my mind where I'm not a player anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm on the side where I have to make sure my guys are doing what they're supposed to, lifting, going to class, basically being a father figure, per se, mm -hmm. to these guys. Another part is having to balance out all my different personas. So the Cuba persona, that there's a time and place for that. There's Coach Mestre. There's a time place for that. It's 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 actually interesting. Like I have to really balance out who I am as a person. Yeah. As and, opposed yeah. to just me being me at all times. Yeah. Yeah. And eventually it all rolls across as you you know, as you as you get older and more yeah. years and experience with that. Now, what lessons have you learned about football now that you're on this side of the fence mm -hmm. that you never knew as a player? I'll tell you what, coach. There is way more way way more that goes into a program than a player could ever think they just see the little ins and outs the oh just set up for practice or the set up for this set up for that there's way more that goes into it. there's a lot of finite details that go into a program that people don't see yeah there's yeah. a lot that's interesting. I get that a lot, you know, and it's it's just it, it, it's always interesting to me when we bring a professor in or or you're just anybody around out, an outsider. They come and they see you guys do all these types of things because you're you're marketing the program, you're fundraising, mm -hmm. you're promoting, you're you're trying to you're making sure you recruit the right type of student athlete right. that's going to retain and and be here to be seniors to win championships because yes, it's all about that championship mm -hmm. culture that uh, we're in the midst of creating now. Um, now, what you've been here long enough at mm -hmm. this point, you know, this town. Right? Oh yeah. Pretty well. Yeah. Pretty well. Okay. <laughs> so, so, uh, you know, as we're recruiting guys, I hear you talking to them and, and, uh, what, what is your, the top sell for you with, uh, Defiance College and the community of, of Defiance? Top sell hundred percent has to be the family atmosphere. Yeah. Everyone here is out to help you. No one's out to hurt you. Yeah, I, like I, I've been in positions where I've been on the ground kicked stomped whatever you want to call it and i've had people here in the community people here on staff help me out and get me out of it yeah a bunch right. of times yeah and, and that you're right and you can feel you can talk to anybody and and uh when, when you take get that small college experience you get that oh yeah and uh and, and i and it's funny like uh you know part of it, like everybody knows you oh yeah right <laughs> <laughs> not a bad thing yeah it's it's literally just because my personality is just how i am i'm a talkative person 
I give off a good energy. That's what I've been told, at least. I don't know. Yeah, what no, it is, no question. Yeah, but mm -hmm. yeah, with, without doubt. Now, how about now? You're working. You're going to get your MBA here in the next year. Yes, sir. Right, and um, what is that like going through? You know, you're, you're working on a master's degree. Mm -hmm. And, and you're going to be coaching again this fall yeah. now. This for, mm -hmm. you know, Last year you played, now you're coaching. So what does uh, pursuing that type of a degree uh, mean to you, and, and, and how do you handle How do you juggle all that? So to me it means a lot. I'd be literally the first person in my family with a full-fledged degree here in the United States because all my family's Cuban. Yeah. They're coming from great country, Cuba, and – their titles really have no validity here. And as my mother's only child, that's huge for her. Huge. Yeah, Especially sure in MBA. Yeah, that's and right. And she's always like, oh, you're not done till you get the doctorate. <laughs> so know. that may be next, huh? Who we'll knows? See. Right, okay. We'll see. We'll see. Now, that makes a lot of sense. And uh, if you were to give um, our incoming players some advice, mm -hmm. what would it be? Biggest thing? Yes, freshman year is tough. It's hard, but you cannot give up on yourself because mm -hmm. you never know what you're capable of. A lot of I've seen a lot of guys they come and they get scared because it's a lot. It's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to go to your resources, go to your coaches, go to people in town, go do what you got to do so that you're able to adapt. Because we've got guys coming from all over the place. Oh yeah. I mean, look at yeah. me, Miami, Florida. Yeah, and we got a, 17 states represented in this oh, particular yeah. class. Oh yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. But, yeah, that that's fantastic. And that's what, you know, as players, uh, recruits, you come into a situation, you don't realize that uh, coming from high school to college at any level is a significant uh, challenge. And uh, but but you can do it, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I think here we have the support to help you do that uh, for sure. Um, I want to thank you, Brian, for coming on the yes, podcast and, uh, you know, for our, 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 our fans out there listening and watching this and so forth on YouTube. Um, I want to make sure you understand, hey, if you're listening to this podcast on your podcast player, make sure to subscribe in iTunes, give us a rating, comment on the show. All right. And then if you're watching this on YouTube, on the on the YouTube channel, you can see where you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, the Swarm and Shoot Football Show channel. And then um, you can hit this little notification bell on there and then you will know each time you get an alert when the next show is uploaded. And we do that on a weekly basis. And uh, feel free to comment below this particular show uh, on anything you may want to say to us that can help us along the way improve the program or anything you you really enjoyed and um, just want to let everybody know to get ready for the swarm and shoot weekend uh, it'll be september 19th on thursday night three wonderful days in a row we play manchester at 7 p.m at defiance high school uh, which will be the first night game in defiance in a long time for for the yellow jackets uh, and then Friday the next morning, I know uh, we've got our Swarm and Shoot Golf Scramble. And then Saturday, we've got the Touchdown Lottery at the Eagles downtown at 5 o'clock. It is the single biggest fundraiser we have uh, for the football program. It helps us treat our guys extremely well. And um, you can sign up for all of these events uh, on Friday and Saturday, go to swarmandshoot.com and the information will be right there and you'll get all kinds of wonderful insights that will help you and us. Uh, basically, let's get together and swarm. All right? And from there, I want to make sure everybody understands that next week, uh, you're going to get a chance to meet our player from, well, actually, our coach from South Georgia, Tristan Yeomans. Uh, and he played at the University of Kentucky. And you, enter, you uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy uh, some of the uh, conversation we have together. Thank you very much.